In this video, we're going to cover the top 10 non-lethal weapons that you can actually buy and in most places legally carry. This video is based on a common request from those that live in locations where firearms may not be legal. Having these options provide you with a chance to defend yourself or your family. Now, I use the word chance here because no non-lethal weapon will stop a psychotic or drugged up assailant with 100% certainty. A non-lethal weapon option only allows you to increase your odds of getting out of a hostile situation by breaking contact and escaping. That being said, the non-lethal weapons that I list here are in order of effectiveness from the least to the most effective, which will stop a majority of assailants, giving you an option to escape a hostile situations. Do you agree with this list? Would you list them differently? If so, let us know in the comments. So let's jump in. Tactical Flashlight Technically, these are named as such because they are meant to be coupled with a firearm to illuminate a target. However, the evolution of tactical flashlights has made them a less than lethal option for self-defense, all by themselves. From blinding lights, strobes, and even electrical prods, tactical flashlights have evolved into powerful self-defense tools. The plus is that they have more than one practical function. The drawback is that it's a self-defense weapon that will only be effective in an up-close range scenario, a situation that you want to avoid at all costs. Expandable Baton These are illegal to own or carry in several states, so check your local laws. There are, however, no federal laws against them. Typically, these are made out of hard steel and designed to impact the extremities. Getting a full force blow from one of these can temporarily disable muscles or even break bones and damage joints, and can even be lethal. The downside of this is you are in a close range situation. The upside is that wielding a stick-like object in self-defense is very intuitive. Just hold on and well away. Security Umbrella If you want to protect yourself while remaining inconspicuous, consider one of these. This security umbrella has a hardwood handle with a pommel, a shaft that will support 220 pounds, and a blunt carbide tip at the end that will easily shatter glass windows. Not only is it one of the best rain umbrellas that you're going to find, but it can also be used to defect blows or bludgeon an assailant. It will only be effective up close, but using a stick-like weapon is instinctive, and with a bit of additional self-defense training with this item, you have some real stopping power in an elegant functional umbrella. Personal Alarms This will only temporarily stun or shock an assailant to confuse him momentarily. With this device, you are counting on those precious few seconds to get away while alerting others in your vicinity of your danger. Combined with a 130 decibel siren, equivalent to a jet plane's engine 100 feet away, and a strobe light, these will draw a lot of attention to a bad person who wants to remain unnoticed. Additionally, you can put the device on the more defenseless members of your group, like small children. It has no stopping power, but it's a loud deterrent. Tactical Pen Coupaton These may look innocent enough, but whether they're made of tungsten steel or aluminum, these short sticks can focus the energy of a strike at the tip. The drawback is that you're in extremely close range if you use one of these. The pluses are that it's hard to wrestle free from someone's closed hand and it can amplify even a flailing strike into a muscle debilitating hit. You're not going to break any bones with these, but a couple of pointed strikes will dissuade even an aggressive assailant. Knife I put a knife right in the middle for three reasons. First, carrying this on your person is not legal in every state. Second, although highly effective as a non-lethal weapon, these can be very lethal. And third, while an effective and necessary survival tool for many applications, a knife used by an unskilled person for self-defense can actually be taken by a skilled person and used against them quite easily. This is why I recommend a karambit. They're easy to tightly palm with only the blade exposed for slashing when punching, again, giving you the opportunity to stun an attacker to increase your chances of escape. CO2 Pistols These are not considered to be firearms under federal law because they expel projectiles by the action of compressed air rather than explosives. There is a little benefit in that they resemble a gun. Also, the CO2 pistol shown here can shoot a 50 caliber hard pepper ball plastic sphere that explodes on impact, releasing a very fine powder to irritate an assailant's eyes, nose, and throat. With the properly placed tip of the hard plastic 50 caliber ball, your assailant will have to think twice, giving you precious time. These have an effective enough range to keep an attacker at bay while still giving you the option to escape a hostile situation. Electrical Stunning Devices 
These handheld devices deliver a powerful, disorienting, and possibly debilitating electrical shock. The downside is that you are in a close combat range. The upside is that you don't need to know how to strike someone to deliver an electrical shock enough to bring down an assailant. Even clicking it from a distance is a deterrent because people associate the loud, sparking noise with its threat. Stunning an assailant won't incapacitate them, but being hit by one of these is like touching a live electrical wire. You hit somebody a couple of times with a live wire and they may have second thoughts about continuing their assault. Mace and Pepper Sprays Personal defense sprays and spray gels come in many varieties and with varied strengths. These sprays are effective because they irritate the eyes and lungs. And they won't stop an enraged assailant, but they will buy you some time against one and make their pursuit of you more difficult. I also like these two because they've been used to deter dogs, bears, mountain lions, and other similar animals that have extremely sensitive noses. These irritants are often enough to keep them from attacking. Taser. The step up from your simpler stun devices are taser devices from Axon. Shown here are the Pulse and the Bolt 2. These could be used in tight quarters, but also have a 15-foot range. Additionally, they pack enough punch to immobilize an attacker for up to 30 seconds. Like the stunning devices, the amps in these deliver the pain. A taser device is made of two electrodes attached to wires that shoot out the taser device from a compressed gas cartridge towards a target. The taser-exposed person can experience muscles locking up and temporary disruption of normal muscle function. If you've ever seen someone fall over after a taser exposure, that's pretty accurate. I put this at the top of the list because if it hits a target, it has the power to lock up the muscle of the would-be assailant, fulfilling the primary objective of non-lethal weaponry, allowing you to break contact and escape. They also have flashlights and laser-like assisted targeting built in, which can be helpful when under stress. The downsides are that you have one shot, but you do still have backup electrodes turning this into a stun device if you don't have time to reload the cartridge. The upside is that it's incredibly effective and just pointing one at someone is often enough of a deterrent. The taser exposed person will be incapacitated, giving you a 30 second window of opportunity to escape to safety. The Bolt 2 can also sync up to the Axon app on your phone that will alert the police when this has been discharged. That's my top 10 list of less than lethal self-defense items. Do you agree with how I have them ranked? Or did I leave something off that you would recommend on my list? Let me know in the comments section below. Less than lethal weapons, they really provide you with distance, they help you buy time, and they help you to escape. You may not be able to subdue entirely any individual, but you definitely can stop them in their tracks and make them think twice about attacking you as they typically look for soft targets. As always, stay safe out there.